The Central Valley School District is shelling out two and a half million dollars to a former middle school student. She was sexually assaulted in her classroom at Bowdish Middle School. The 2013 lawsuit against the district alleged that former Bowdish teacher Anthony Cuccinetti sexually assaulted an 11 year old student multiple times following years of reports from teachers, parents, and students that he was inappropriate with female students. Grace Titzler joins us now live. And Grace, this woman's lawyer says the district should have done more to protect her. Nadine, the student's lawyer says the district was deliberately indifferent when dealing with Cucinati's alleged misconduct over a 15 year span, and they failed to protect her from an employee who they knew or should have known was likely to commit sexually inappropriate acts. 19-year-old Emily Keenan says when she was a sixth grader at Bowdish Middle School, Cucinati sexually assaulted her on multiple occasions in the back of his classroom. What was done to me in the sixth grade turned my life upside down. I lived in fear, was depressed all the time, acted out in many bad ways. Keenan said she didn't report the assaults until she was 14 because she felt threatened by Cucinati. The only reason to speak up when I was 14 was I couldn't keep it in anymore. But the lawsuit alleges there were 15 years worth of warning signs that the district should have taken more seriously. Reports from parents, teachers, and students that Cucinati was inappropriate with female students and had anger issues. Many, many students would notice that he was um, doing things which obviously you wouldn't want um, uh, to do in a classroom with female students, such as peering down their blouses, such as telling them they're sexy, such as uh, dropping pencils to make them bend over, such as having them sit on his lap uh, or partially on his lap. Cucinati was finally put on leave in 2009 when Keenan came forward and said the teacher snapped her bra strap and inappropriately rubbed her back. This one was quite remarkable in the fact that um, a lot of people knew a lot of things and they never came forward and really did anything about it. Keenan says she hopes her story will help sexual misconduct cases in schools be taken more seriously. My personal reason for this lawsuit was validation, not money. It was to keep this kind of thing from happening to other students, to make teachers and school officials know that they must protect students or be held accountable. And Keenan says she plans to donate $10,000 to the Lutheran Family Services where she has received counseling. She also wants to set up a foundation to help other victims of assault. And in a statement today, the Central Valley School District says as part of the settlement, the district did not admit any liability for Mr. Cucinati's alleged actions. CVSD's insurance carrier funded the entire settlement. We also reached out to the Spokane County Sheriff's Office. They said that Cucinati was never charged for a crime in this case. He is apparently now living in California and is no longer a teacher. Reporting live at Bowdish Middle School tonight, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News.